負ける選択肢も助けられない選択肢も僕にはない。One of the most satisfying things when it comes to anime is the sheer weak looking protagonists who may not even possess any magic capabilities whatsoever, but in the end, they will, you know, be known as powerful beings when they decide to step into the ring for the challenge. A variety of these shows are super cool to witness, and I'm here to bring you some of my favorites. Today's video will dive into 10 anime where the main character can't use magic but turns out to be powerful. If you're new around here, then please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with the Vicus Bye icon turned on to stay up to date with the latest anime news and recommendations right at your doorstep. Now, that can be all waiting. Let us begin with the video. I've decided to begin this list with a certified underrated banger series I quite enjoyed a lot. Though keep in mind, it is unfinished and will plan to re air all of its episodes once again very soon. Ayakashi Triangle tells the tale of creatures known as Ayakashi who are invisible to most people and devour people's life force. Exorcist's ninjas are tasked with taking care of these Ayakashi, and that's where our main protagonist, Masuri, a young ninja with the hopes of keeping people protected from dangerous Ayakashi, especially his beloved childhood friend whom he cares. So much about. The twist is, you know, an Ayakashi turns Matsuri into a girl, meaning this is, well, sort of your gender bender anime, but personally, a very entertaining one indeed. How about watching maybe something what seems to be like a school series, but the protagonist possesses powerful blue flames capable of incinerating or burning foes with ease due to his sheer strength and capabilities? This here is Codebreaker. <laughs> Ray is the new transfer student who wields such power. Posing as a regular guy without much emotional features, he is indeed a powerhouse who hides his true powers. Of course, a girl actually did take a. She did take an interest to him and she wishes to stray him away from his aggressive and destructive path so that others just won't get hurt. <laughs> Philosophically speaking, the story of Chain Chronicles is really deep, but however, it does lack in some qualities at the same time. This is actually a mobile game adaptation, but truth to be told, it's a good adaptation, one that I enjoy checking out. It's like, you know, bad guy and good guy triumph over each other with the land being devoured in darkness, but that won't stop our heroes from doing their duty of saving the world because. Who else will? It's got good animation, exciting action sequences, and cool RPG elements, which adds a lot of the qualities of life into the anime itself. <laughs> Tower of God had quite the interesting premise, or maybe it was possibly perhaps maybe overhyped, in my opinion, as the protagonist didn't really accomplish much in the first season. Keep in mind, though, the second season is coming very soon, and many have said that it is where things are gonna pick up and get way more interesting, and it's where we get to see Bam and his powers finally. <laughs> Aside from that, though, I think I enjoyed watching every other side character take part and compete in different missions. You don't often see side characters take the spotlight that easily from a protagonist, but it really did here in the case of Tower of God. I'm not saying it's a bad show, but more on the lines of what I hoped it would happen or what I've hoped to see. Hopefully, maybe the second season strikes with a bang. Reiner, Loot, and his epic journey in the anime The Legend of Legendary Heroes. Reiner was once a proud student of an academy until he decided to stay away from society due to him wielding a very special power, or more like a curse, that he has, which is the Alpha Stigma. <laughs> Oh, 
It's a dangerous power that is completely uncontrollable, making him go on a rampage and kill anyone with ease. That is why he journeys with his close companion and friend Eris, who is a highly skilled swordsman, to find legendary relics of heroes from the past, and maybe even find out more about the power of the Alpha Stigma, probably uh, as well as, you know, how to get rid of it overall. <laughs> From One Punch Man and also elements of Harry Potter mixed together to bring this glorious magic themed anime I am enjoying so much. Mash is born without magic and was, was pretty much adopted by an old man named Regro who lives in the outskirts of town to keep Mash all safe from those who despise others who can't really use magic. Instead of magic, Mash trains his body and soul through weightlifting to make his body completely stronger to cope and counter magic because to him, magic is weak and muscles are are superior. Now he enrolls into a magic school posing as someone who uses magic when in fact he has zero and using his muscle strength to surpass completely everyone else in the school through sheer strength alone. Ah! <laughs> Tokyo Ravens is one of those series with a protagonist that you may believe is boring or useless, but in the long run, he will become more of an interesting character. Essentially, however, this anime is about powerful exorcists or shaman fighting enemies trying to become more powerful, though this is just a mere taste of what lies even further ahead. The story may sometimes overcomplicate things or leave you with a big question mark, but it has its upsides to it, such as, you know, plot twists and also epic battles to witness. Fun and enjoyment is what you will get from watching Tokyo Ravens, and it could have been done better, sure, but you get what you get, and I was very satisfied. <laughs> Being put in the worst class is one thing, but knowing just how much stronger you are compared to everyone else is another thing. <laughs> The 35th Test Platoon is a series following a protagonist who can't use guns like everyone else and relies on his sword skills to defeat opponents who will shoot bullets and that is really hard to believe and badass at the same time. 35th Test Platoon is, you know, is the worst squad in the whole school because everyone in that class lacks compared to others but they are all unique and fun characters who could easily work together as a team to take on some cool and badass missions. Brave 10 is an adventure series and follows two protagonists as they journey through these warlands in search for brave warriors, each possessing powerful skills of their own. To search for these brave warriors, however, they would have to travel far and wide to take on dangerous foes in the process. The plot is, though, fairly predictable. Good versus evil, so it can be a little shallow, but the fights are really cool, going no longer than let's say two episodes to help advance the story, and I love when fights take their time and not rush things. <laughs> Now finally on this anime list, it all comes down to the eminence in shadow. This is an isekai that is starting to make its way to the top of the genre, and the sole reason is that it's a really good isekai series. <laughs> Sid Kagano is a character that strives for power. He wishes to become something far from reach in the real world, and it's not really possible for a regular human to do so. He, in the night, uses a crowbar to thrash on biker gangs and destroy them, but, you know, 
it wasn't really enough to get what he wanted and was later isekai to another world from a truck accident. However, over there in the other world, he was able to reach greater heights and become the Eminence in Shadow, a lord with a bunch of waifus under his command as he leads his team of Shadow Garden for the purpose of fighting a very dangerous cult. You just made it to the end of the video and witnessed 10 anime where the main character can't use magic but turns out to be powerful. If I've managed to leave any anime out in particular that you thought would be a great show on the list, then please let me know in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear your very opinion, or just comment down below what you thought about the video in general as I'd always appreciate feedback. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.